How do organisms reproduce? In the previous chapters, we have studied about the life processes, which help an organism to be alive. All the living organisms grow old with time, and ultimately die. So, new organisms are to be produced in the place of those who die. The production of new organisms, from the existing organisms of the similar species, is called as reproduction. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to understand about a sexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. First, let us know what is reproduction. Reproduction is a biological process by which new individuals of the same kind are produced from existing individuals. Reproduction is required for all the living beings because the process of reproduction ensures the continuity of the species on Earth. Reproduction provides group immortality by replacing the dead individuals with the newborn. If the process of reproduction halts, all the living organisms on the Earth would soon become extinct. Let us now learn about the different modes of reproduction. There are two main methods of reproduction in living organisms. They are asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. Let us now discuss about the asexual and sexual reproduction in brief. Asexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction is the type of reproduction in which the young ones are produced without the formation and fusion of gametes. This type of reproduction also requires only a single parent. It is called a sexual reproduction because it does not use the special cells called sex cells for producing new organisms. Thus, in a sexual reproduction only one parent is needed to produce new organisms. Sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction is the type of reproduction involving two individuals for the creation of a new organism. Sexual reproduction involves the fusion of male and female gametes, which forms an organism that potentially develops into genetically distinct offspring. In other words, the production of a new organism from two parents by making use of their sex cells or gametes is called sexual reproduction. In sexual reproduction, the sex cell of one parent fuses with the sex cell of another parent to form a new cell called zygote. This zygote then develops and grows into a new organism. The two parents which are involved in sexual reproduction are called male and female. The male and female parents have special organs in them which produce male sex cells and female sex cells respectively. Sexual reproduction can be seen in human beings and other animals like fish, frog, hen, cat, dog, cow, horse, deer, rabbit, lion and tiger. The reproductive system in human beings becomes functional at a definite age called puberty. The basic difference between a sexual and sexual reproduction is that only one parent is needed in a sexual reproduction whereas two parents are needed in sexual reproduction. Now let us study about the asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction in detail. Asexual reproduction In a sexual reproduction method, certain body cells of the parent organism undergo repeated mitotic cell divisions to form two new organisms of the same kind. Asexual reproduction can take place in six different methods. They are fission, fragmentation, regeneration, budding, vegetative propagation, and spore formation. We will now learn about each method in detail. We will start with fission. In unicellular organisms, cell division or fission lead to the creation of new individuals. For example, protozoa and bacteria are single-celled organisms. Many single-celled organisms like protozoa and bacteria just split into two identical halves during cell division, leading to the creation of new organisms. This is called fission. In biology, fission is the process of reproduction in unicellular animals like protozoa and many bacteria.